All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bold RC coming to you guys again with yet another. Before we get started, I gotta say shouts out to the finesse gang. Those who get here early, finesse the bell, subscribe, drop a like, and leave a comment early on in the video, and you just might see your name scrolling up and down the screen right here with me. Now today I'm giving y'all a little bit of a buffet. So this is what we're gonna do. I got an early shoe coming in that I actually need to hit the P.O. box like very, very soon to get before the post office closed. I also wanted to hit up the outlet because before I left for LA, um, or as I was in LA, the homie hit me up and actually let me know that they had some Fear of God sneakers in there. Now, if they still have Fear of Gods, I don't know, but let's just hope to the outlet guys, let's pray to the outlet guys that maybe something good is in the outlet today. And also, y'all gonna get a little bit of LA surround so two footage. Again, when I was in LA, I was shooting, so I didn't have a lot of time to shoot my own footage, shoot my own vlog. I was really working from what, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So y'all gonna see a little bit of uh, behind the scenes stuff. And like I said, also, round two in LA, I went there and got some footage as well. <laughs> Trust me, how can I trust you? Going through my phone, I deleted text messages from you. All the blue up in your phone. Once you won't leave me alone. Don't stick up on the cologne. Yeah, hit me when you get home. Over to the crib, I'll be back in a minute. Say my full name when I slide deep in it. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shotty independent, she not dependent. Shotty wanna talk, I stop, I listen. Running it back, I know I got a good. Shotty white feet, I put on the hood. Gonna never hit this bitch with a wood. Not my type, she misunderstood. Go to the crib, I'll be back in a minute. Say my full name when I stop deep in it. Shotty independent, she not dependent. Shotty wanna talk, I stop, I listen. Running it back, I know I got a good. See white feet, I put on All right, y'all, so we are back. Let's, we literally just landed in Burbank. We are at the Hollywood Burbank Airport. Y'all can see right there. I think it's called like Hot Bob Airport. Now, usually when I fly out here, I usually fly straight into LAX. This is a little bit different for me, but I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot easier too. Like LAX is usually not too crazy when I land, but out here it was like I walked in and I walked straight to baggage claim and it was straight out. So right now I'm actually waiting on the homie G. I'm gonna just call him G for right now. And you know, we got a couple things, a couple things cooking up that y'all may or, well, if if everything goes well and we are gonna try to stay positive y'all should be seeing very soon um, or not very soon but y'all will be seeing at some point but I'm actually just waiting to see G right now so give me a second oh right here yeah you okay 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 so listen this is the situation right now. Finally got to a hotel room, but I need to finish my heater hype video before I can do anything because I told y'all I was gonna be posting it today. So I'm gonna try to get that done expeditiously. And then after that, we're gonna run down, try to hit round two. Again, I'm out here for a reason. I can't exactly say what reason, but hopefully in a bit of time, I'll be able to share it with you guys. And again, I can't really say too much. Let me get this video done. Let me order some food because I'm hungry and we're gonna be back. All right. Peace. Three hours later. Oh, thank you. Oh, appreciate you, dog. Thank you. Yeah, it is, it is. Thank you. Is there something to yeah. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate make, you. Make sure you don't left your cell phone, wallet. Thank you're right, you're right. Uh, I got my cell phone, got my uh, wallet. Yes, hey, sir. Thanks, man. You too. Alright y'all, so we are back and I have finally, finally made it out of the fucking hotel room because I have been sitting in there editing that heater hype, getting the thumbnail ready. Listen, I don't know what's going on with my old laptop, but that joint is... It's acting like it wants to die on me. So it took way, way, way too long to get my shit done. And basically that means that I did not get out to round two until 
Well, as you guys can see earlier, it was daytime. It is now nighttime right now. So we don't have but so much time. Hopefully I will be able to run back out here at some point throughout the week. But again, I'm out here on work and I'm trying to fit in a little bit of play here. So listen, let's head into round two. Let's see what they got. And if they got anything good, I will cop. I'm trying to let you guys know right now. I don't even got my book bag. I'm trying to be kind of light out here in the street so I can just keep maneuvering, keep moving. But y'all see it in the back. Round two is there. Of course, I'm gonna give y'all a little B-roll montage. We're gonna be right back. Alright y'all, so we are back live and direct right inside of round two right now. Now of course you guys know when I come in here, I always like to come and check out some of the vintage gear. This tee right here, pretty hard. I like this one. Pittsburgh Penguins from 1991. It's kind of like an all over slick, kind of like almost like a cement print kind of vibe to it. But there's a lot of vintage tees. There's even this joint right here, Oakland Raiders joint, all over gray. It says size large, but it looks like it fits a lot bigger than that. But this one was kind of clean too, so I'm kind of digging this tee right here too. Then they also had these joints right here, size 12, Sakai Blazers. I told you all was digging these. So they got a couple things. I still got to keep looking around. They got some Mork and Minis in, but unfortunately the Mork and Mini SBs, not my size. It's like small feet gang, size like nine out of 10. So unfortunately it's not my size, but listen, I'm gonna keep looking through the vintage racks because I really want to cop a new vintage tee, like I said, that 1991 joint. I might go ahead and cop that, but let me keep looking, keep seeing what they got. When I find some good shit, y'all know I'll let you know. I got some up in this thing. I just dropped a jig in my Red Bull and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away. Y'all should have seen this shit coming in May. We doing 300 records a day. Who really think they can get in the way? All right, so another thing I've actually not seen yet is these joints right here. I mean, this is the UNLV off-white joints, and I actually have not seen these in person but i will say the leather on these is like that shit's plush it's way better than anything else i've seen i mean you got these and of course you got the michigan pair now this is a 13. so it's almost almost my size it's a little bit too too yacht game for me and of course one of my favorite off-whites is these but these are way 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 too small so they got a few things here honestly it's a little late i might have to try to come back by during the daytime things are kind of winding down so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and i might just leave this tee here or just go ahead and cop it for right now and then come back in the morning or hopefully sometime during the day it's a little late i know dudes want to go home so just give me a few oh and also another thing by the time this video goes live brand new consumed by the light hoodies are now live on sampleind.com. I mean, I've been wearing them all week. I've been wearing this hoodie all week. Y'all been seeing it. And also the IG post is up. So if you're not following me on IG, follow me at BulletRC, B-U-L-L-1-T-R-C. And make sure you drop a like on the fit pick, bro. So for those y'all who might've missed that, listen, we're hitting the outlets. We got an early shoe coming in. Actually might hit cream up as well. Also got some footage from LA in round two. And then the brand new Sample Industries drop, which is the hoodie I got on right here. Now listen, finesse gang, I appreciate y'all, but I gotta move you off the screen. Like I said before, y'all see the box back there. That is one shoe that I got. So we actually forgot about that one. We got two unboxings today. So again, make sure you drop a like on this bit. A lot of stuff going on, but listen, we need to go ahead and get out the house. I'm gonna see y'all in the whip. Alright y'all, and we are back. So like I said, I wanted to stop by the outlet, stop by Nike, cause the homie hit me up, let me know that there were fear gods in the Nike outlet. Again, that was a week ago, had to head out to LA. So I didn't have time to actually come back out here and see if they actually had any. So today is basically the only day I got a little free time. So that's why we're out here. I'm at the regular spot, y'all see the big Nike swoosh in the back right there. So we're gonna head in here. Hopefully we can come up on something good. You know what I mean? I haven't come up on anything good in this Nike in a little while. But listen, hopefully the outlet guys up above will bless the kid today. So y'all see in the back, bro. It's Nike. 
see what they got. All right, y'all, so we pulled up to the Nike outlet. Um, I'm seeing some things that uh, we've talked about before, like these, uh, Basuda of the Week. But we also pulled up, and uh, usually the first thing I do is I look on the wall to see if they got any J's. So the first thing I see, first off hand, is these bad boys right here, which are the Ferrari 14s. I don't know if they actually got these back there, but we are gonna check. But yeah, Ferrari 14s, blam, sitting on the shelf. Got some other stuff right there too, but I'm gonna go ahead Head back here, see if they got them actually. All right, so we actually might have found a little something. I didn't think they were back here, but you guys can see all these Jordan boxes right here. And yes, these are in here for 160 right now. So the black Ferraris already in the outlet with the special box and everything, and they got a good couple sizes. So, so y'all know before I actually picked these up right here, which is the uh, the Mellow joints and Mellow 13s. I'm assuming that they either got more or there was just some in the back. Who knows? But the last time I came through, I was actually able to get these on sale so i think i got them for about 115 i don't think they have any like extra friends and family sales going on right now so the price as of now is 160 but they still got these joints in here so shouts out to the homie actually pointed me to what they still have and they have the nike air skyline twos the fear god skylines they have these in here for 90 bucks retail is 150 now do they have a size 12 they do for 90 dollars fear of gods straight up at the outlets they got some 11 and a half too i'm actually really surprised to see they still got any of these fear of gods sitting in here it was i think it was about three stacks when i first seen the picture so they must have had a lot for 90 um we we might have to do it we might just have to do it so just give me a second so on the back wall we got these obj joints kind of like a lakers colorway back here we've seen these before but we definitely definitely buy those got more air max 720s and these are all extra 20 percent off on these joints glam some pretty clean tailwinds y'all can see size eight and a half again get the extra 20 percent off these joints too got these guys as well air jordan 11 the cool gray cleats but we need the regular mids back not the cleats and then also down here another one size eight and a half winter fours so if i was a size 10 and a half i think these are 20 percent off still straight off the wall they got the safari joints the animal print the crazy pair of threes right here now they don't just have one pair they actually got two size 10 and a half on these joints right here so i mean i know a lot of y'all that watch me are from the area uh so they might still have them back here like i said they got two size and a half right there safaris and hopefully they're 20 percent off again it is 225 right here but it does say 20 percent off up there so out of all the shoes we've seen that's probably the newest one there's another pair of safaris down there too so listen i'm done here let's head back to the studio i'm gonna see y'all there peace and we are back it is frigid there outside right now but we got the heat on the inside of course we got this early pickup i'm gonna get into this box right here first now i paid 275 for the shoe that is inside this box anyways let's go ahead and pop into here because i don't want to mess up the box because more than likely i got these off the homie i definitely didn't get this one from nike sneakers so these can't be returned they're more than likely just going to be sitting in here sitting around the room for a very very long time to see if i can make some of the money back on them and of course that shoe is these right here all black flight box y'all should already know what the deal is toss this over here and of course it is the black cat air jordan fours y'all already know i wanted this shoe pretty badly so i went ahead and just made sure i was good to go on it of course it sat around some spaces maybe at your local mall they still have them i think nike sold out it was pretty interesting to see how this shoe did on the day that it dropped but yes i did pick up this pair of black hat air jordan fours early for 275 but that was just so i could get that video up and out for you guys so yes black hat fours you guys already know i got one pair off of nike sneakers and that was the pair that i had to have delivered to tony's house so i could actually actually get them in a video this one's just been sitting on my doorstep and unfortunately i got to it a little bit late but just to make up for the fours we got some heat inside this box now there is a shoe that i have been talking about talking and talking and talking about and that shoe is inside of this box right here i just want to give a big salute and shout out to my man dylan i'm pretty sure he doesn't mind me saying his name but dylan he actually hit on these early and just gave me the retail oop of course i did pay for shipping i just paid him back what he paid for the shoe and he was totally cool with that he actually offered me that deal so i appreciate him of course y'all seeing the inside i mean once y'all see that red box y'all see a little bit of elephant print y'all should already kind of know what's going on air jordan 3 retro se usd retail for that heftier 200 and 190 but the all over red 
Oh, he did include his receipt paper right there. Peel the paper back, peel the paper back again. Peel another layer of paper back. One more layer of paper back and yes, we got the Unite threes on deck. And the box says Fire Red. We already got Fire Red threes, so I'ma kinda just call these the Toro threes. And as y'all can see, Nike Air on the back, all over red, Air Jordan 3, leather is looking pretty proper. These, in my opinion, are extremely clean and I'm really glad that the prices are not crazy on them. Hopefully a lot more people can get them once they actually drop. And of course, y'all know I'm gonna be dropping my review very, very soon, but give me one second. I wanted to give y'all some quick close-ups. Another thing, JB, I do wanna say, yo, salutes on having the cool different boxes for the shoes. Black Cat's got the triple black flight box just like this, those little details. Those details definitely do matter. I noticed and it's pretty cool. But again, these do come with some extra laces. You got a pair of red laces, a pair of white laces. I think the funny thing about this shoe right here is that it's basically the we the best threes i remember when everyone was like going crazy because dj Khaled had an all over red pair of threes and then fast forward to 2020 and they just was like okay here you go delivered easy right to your doorstep but again i will be working on the review for this shoe very very soon i'm just glad i was actually able to get it get it for retail and uh get it early and go ahead and knock it off the list listen for the month of february we already went through a lot of the releases y'all know the pockets are going to be hurting now these are that overnight is already kind of hitting the pockets and then I copped another shoe today and I had to cop it off of StockX again. When I get that shoe in, I'm probably gonna rant a little bit about the release. But yes, I did get a pair. I went on StockX, but y'all will see that when we get to that. Anyways, man, that is it. That is a wrap. Make sure you guys drop a like on this bit. Let me know if you're gonna be going for these bad boys right here. Listen, in my opinion, that all over red, the leather, the Nike on the back is pretty, pretty clean in my opinion. And another quick reminder, new sample industries drop, sampleind.com, consumed by light hoodies, crazy quality. I mean, y'all can kind of see, if I just get close up, I mean, y'all can see the nice 4K to wash, a little bit of embroidery right here, full print on the front, full print on the back. Listen, in 2020, I mean, we got the pants, we got the beanies, listen, the full fit is sample right now. 2020, we coming a little bit differently. But that's it, man. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cd, by the way, here, there. Buzz, of course, I got the threes right here. Bullet RC, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. That's it, bro. I got the friend's birthday to go to, and I still gotta get this video done and edited. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Much love. Peace.